Welcome back. All right, so what we want to do is get all this stuff exported out. I also wanted to talk about the issue that I ran into where we were getting all that discoloring. So I basically had to go into the snow layer. And in the layer node itself, um, because I was messing with all the remapping, I had values that were uh, below zero or above one. And so I just needed to clamp it, and that map basically got rid of the, the issue, or it did get rid of the issue. Okay, so just keep that in mind if you ever see that particular uh, bug. It's not really a bug, it's just something that I, I created. <laughs> All right, so uh, we want to export all this information out. So what I want to do um, is first show you guys how to export out the texture. All right, so we've been building a texture inside of this cop network. How would I get this off my landscape and into an actual texture I can use in a, in a game engine? And so what I want to do is drop down a ROP uh, file. And there it was, ROP file output. All right, and I just want to hook it into that null node. So I'm just going to take the result from the null node here. And uh, we'll call this export texture. All right, so this is export texture. And what I want to do is set up a couple of parameters here. Uh, first one is the render current frame. I don't need to render a range at all. Uh, I also want to pick a file location. So what I'm going to do, I'm using a Unity or a Houdini project here. I'm going to send it to my texture folder. And this is going to be called landscape um, base color. I think we'll be good for now, .png. OK. And we don't really need the alpha plane, so I'm just going to get rid of the alpha plane here. And let's hit backspace, there we go. Uh, and that's just because I don't really have anything in the alpha, it's just light. Right? We don't really need it then. So I don't need to export it. All right, so with that, we're good to go. So what I'm going to do is just hit render and let it go. There we go. So now if I go to the folder where I exported it to, we have our texture. Cool. So let's go focus on the height map. So I want to get all the height information out. All right. So what I'm going to do is utilize a height field output node. All right. This is a very cool node that allows us to pull off and export out any of the layers. Uh, remember, all of these little guys, if we hit the little info box here, all of these volumes here are considered layers. All right. These are all the layers that we want to export out. Okay. And so we just come into that high field output node and I want to set up a couple things here. So the first thing is I want to export it out as our height texture. All right, so give it a name and a location. Uh, I want to set the type to 8-bit fixed. A lot of these game engines just want the 8-bit fix. Uh, and I'm going to get rid of the alpha channel. I don't need it for any of these. I just need the RGB because all these guys are basically going to have the same layer in it. Right? We just want a grayscale image. And because the height map isn't mapped between 0 and 1, currently the height information goes from 0 to whatever the highest elevation is here. So we need to map this between 0 and 1. So if I come in here for all these remapping options, I can just turn on auto remap, and it'll remap it for me between 0 and 1. Super cool. All right, so with all that stuff set up, just go ahead and hit save to disk. There we go. We now have our height map. Beautiful. Okay, and it works the same way for all the layers as well. So I'm going to drop down another output node. And this time I want to save out the hills layer. So there's going to be landscape hills layer. Like so. Oh, and I just should put an underscore there. There we go. We'll do 8-bit fixed. And this time I want to do the hills layer. And I want to make sure that I auto remap this as well. All right, so you just go and you do that for all the layers and just make sure you export it all out. So if I were to go export this out now and take a look, you can see we have the layer. Cool, so my goal here is to actually make a course on a little bit more of an advanced way of making all this stuff completely automatic. So you're not having to do all this manually because that would be quite a pain, especially if you have a lot of landscapes and you really just want to run them through this whole process here and get out all the information. And Houdini is great at doing stuff like that. And so I'm going to make a full course um, that is a paid course that shows you how to set up a full automatic landscape development system. Okay.
But for now, I just wanted to show you guys the basic concept here. So with that, I'm going to go ahead off, off video and get all the other layers out. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and we'll get this set up in Unreal. And then we'll focus on how to do it in Unity because uh, the two are they're different in terms of how they approach it. But the concept is the same. All right. Thanks so much.